Whoops. I was uh, wondering, there are a couple of rookies who um, uh, well, that, that um, we hear have uh, a lot of special teams potential, Gary Brightwell and Ellerson Smith. Can you talk about what you saw when you were, you know, watching those guys on film and what you've seen so far now? Uh, you know, watch them on film. They had a, a, a really good skill set. You know, they worked hard. They, they worked at it. But as of right now, they're all trying to get better. You know, Ellison, along with Gary, along, along with Aziz and all the rest of the guys, they're all drinking through a fire hose right now. They're just trying to figure out where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to do it. So, uh, you know, they, these kids have, have uh, really good potential. They work hard at it, and uh, we're just trying to get them better. Valentine? Hey, Thomas, I just wanted to ask you, uh, Riley Dixon, um, last year, you know, two years ago, he was really, really outstanding. And last year, he was a little bit more inconsistent. Um, you know, how can you help him get back to, to the 2019 form that he showed? It's like anything else that we do around here. When there's issues, we're back to the fundamentals. And I think that's what Riley's kind of gotten back to. You know, we're, we're getting back, working the fundamentals. And, uh, you know, whenever we get that base right, everything else will take care of itself. So he's been working hard. He's had a really good off season. And, uh, you know, we're just continuing the process of just trying to get better. Jordan Rana. Hey, Team Mac, what's going on? Hey, Jordan, how are you doing, man? I'm good, man, thanks. Uh, what do you see from Kadarius Tony as a returner when you look at him? Uh, you know, Kadarius is, you know, you guys saw him on tape. I mean, he is what he is. I mean, he's electric. He can do some things, but right now he just has to get in here with all the rest of the rookies and get acclimated to what we do and how we do it. Uh, you know, you saw his tape in college, you know, you know his ability and, and what he can do with the ball in his hands. But right now he just to get in here and, and gain the trust of his teammates. And, you know, that job as a punt returner in sleep, we all know that's a huge job and a big responsibility, you know. So uh, that that's the that's the main focus right there. Human joystick is what they called him. That was sort of the, the nickname that uh, his former coach gave him. Is that is that kind of accurate of what you see from him? Yeah, I, I, you know, the, the human joystick was Dante Hall before. The, well, no, the human joystick is Dante Hall, all right? Right, I mean, right. Matter, <laughs> matter of fact, me and Dante were together all last weekend. Uh, but, uh, no, he, he's, he has some skills. He definitely does. He's, he's, uh, he's a good young player that, that needs to understand – uh, what it takes to be a pro and, uh, you know, just learning how to operate as a pro. Uh, but he definitely does has, you know, extreme talent. We, we, we've all seen You that. see some Dante Hall in him? Yeah, we, we've, I've, I've seen some very uh, unique traits in, in Kadarius. You know, he has skills. Again, we've all seen the tape on him. We know exactly what he is. So uh, he just, you know, he has to come in here and get acclimated to, to what we do and how we do it. Dan Dougie. Hey, T-Mac. Uh, when you have a veteran kicker like Graham, I mean, how much do you manage him now or just kind of let him, you know, do what's comfortable for him because I'm sure he has a routine or just how does that work with him in the offseason? Yeah, anytime you have a, a veteran guy like that, uh, you know, just over the years being around all the guys that have been around, the Phil Dawson's, the, you know, the Morton Anderson's, and, you know, all, those, all of those types, Jason Elam's, like those guys – they have a routine. They know exactly what they like to do and how they like to do it. So, uh, you know, you, we just manage them. You know, it's, it's especially in the off season, they know exactly what their bodies need. You know, they know the amount of rest that they need. They know when they're feeling good. You know, they know when to, you know, to punch the gas. They know when to pull back. You know, so uh, we kind of we kind of let them guide the ship on that. You know, if, if Graham feels good, and most of the time he does, you know, he, he'll kick, and, and we're not going to overkick it. You know, especially in the off season, because at, at this point in time in their career, it's it's more of a, a management type of deal and just keeping keeping the stroke fresh. And then how does Santo? So oh, sorry, how's oh, Santo? Go ahead. How's Santoso factor? And you is he going to work at kicker and punter in the off season? Yeah, Ryan. Ryan is a specialist in camp. You know, he's uh, he, he's he's in here competing for a job just like everybody else. And uh, he's working his tail off. He's had a really good off season. And, uh, you know, anytime, you know, you get a chance to work with a guy like him, it's a bonus for sure. Thanks. Yep. Gil Jones. 
Hey, T-Mac. Um, first of all, I hope you're doing well and, and feeling great. Um, Thank you. I got, you're welcome. I, I was going to ask about Tony as well. I was at uh, Florida Pro Day, and after the session, which was the longest pro day I've ever seen in my life, um, a, a team asked him to go outside and field punts. It, obviously, a team that didn't draft him, but a team mm -hmm. that had that curiosity about him. At, at what point in the process do you identify a guy who may become a giant conceivably, but how often do you say like, and he could be a really good punt returner for us. I know he's got to get the pro game down first, but, but he has those traits. Like how initially do you, how, what is your initial impression when you see a guy like that? You know, when you, when you see a guy with those type of traits, you know, as a coach, obviously you get excited, uh, you know, because those are unique skill sets, you know, that's why he was drafted in the first round. He's a very talented player. Uh, he's, he's electric with the ball in his hands. Uh, but, you know, again, that's, you know, that's, it's a value pick. You know, you get a guy that can play in the slot, you, can, you know, he can play outside and then he gives you return flex. I mean, that's, that's, that's a bonus for you, you know? So uh, again, at, you know, the value at that, you know, at that spot was, was good for us. And, and obviously we took advantage of it. So uh, can't wait to get him in here and, and, and get him going, you know, coaching him up and, and uh, let's see what he, you know, see what he can do. Thank you. Yep. We'll take two more, Patty, Pat, Patty Train. Hey, Coach, how are you? Hey, Pat, how you doing? I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well as awesome. well. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Coach, oh, thank you, welcome. I wanted to go back to um, Ed's question about Riley Dixon. You had some uh, different gunner play throughout the, the course of the year, which was something that you didn't have the previous year when Riley had such a good season. And I'm just wondering, how much does that – tie into the type of you know season a punter has that's a great question uh, you know anytime you can have continuity at any spot whether it be offense defense special teams that's what you want you know when you have a lot of turnover things are different you know when you turn over on an offensive line the chemistry is different you know guys have to learn how to work with each other and you know what steps they take and you know same thing with the secondary when you're changing out different guys in the secondary it's the same thing guys got to know the strengths and weaknesses and you know, it's no different in special teams. It's the same thing. When you got a bunch of moving parts, you know, it's it's a little harder to, uh, you know, to be as consistent as you want to be. You know, so yes, it, it does make a difference. You know, but again, anytime anytime you can create uh, continuity and consistency, that's what you want. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Last one here, Pat Leonard. T Mac, what's up? Pat, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, Two-parter, if you don't mind. One, um, a unique situation, of course, with Nate Ebner um, not being here, but basically being excused. You know, does that, how do you uh, prepare for a season with a, you know, as a veteran who's a leader of your group who isn't here, uh, but you know is going to be on the field for every single snap when he does return? Well, uh, you know, to be honest with you, because he's not on the roster right now, I'm really not going to comment on it, um, but you know, anytime you get a veteran guy, you know you get a veteran guy that can help you. That's that's a plus, especially a guy like me. Gotcha. Um, and then the second thing was, as far as the return game and punt returners, not only with Tony, but you got a guy at Dory Jackson. You got guys here, Dante Pettis, Slayton, etc. How nice is it to attack that position in the off season and have this many options? You know, and then the second part of that is, are you backing Jabril off of that role uh, now that you have so many other options there? Uh, no. Uh, the, the beautiful thing, you know, Dave, Dave and, and, and Joe have done an outstanding job of bringing guys in that have backgrounds uh, in the return game, and it, and it gives us options. You know, guys that can compete, it gives them, it gives them a chance to, uh, to make the team and uh, provide value to our team. And I think when you, anytime you, you get that opportunity to have that many guys that have, you know, return kicks and punts in NFL games, it makes your football team that much better. You know, you create that competition. And I think that that, that right there is just, that's huge for us. You know, that is huge. And uh, it, it'll be fun in the preseason just to, you know, watch these guys go and work a little bit. 